good morning, everyone. I'm a I'm Xing Zheng, a PhD student from NUS, uh, supervised by Prof. Li and Prof. Chu. Um, the topic of my academic research is integrated AGV dispatching and equipment scheduling with speed optimization at an automated container terminal. Uh, as shown, it's a diagram of an ACT. Then we have three kinds of facilities, K-crane, Y-crane, and AGVs. Before a ship arrives at the port, the uh, handling sequences at QCs has been determined. The origin and destination of a container are known and the path um, between K-crane and Y-crane has been predetermined. Here you can see in the picture, uh, here is a path which is predetermined from QC2 to YC1. Um, before uh, introducing the problem, I have to define some basic definition. First one is the task. A task is defined as a process of delivery. Um, well, uh, it is um, to pick up a container at the origin of a task and deliver it to the destination. We have two types of uh, request. Uh, first, uh, it's a discharging test if the origin is a uh, QC. Um, if it uh, is a uh, uh, loading task, then the origin will be a uh, YC. Then here is an example uh, of a discharging uh, task from the K side to the YAR side. Uh, we have some known information. The handling sequences of QCs, the uh, origin and destination of a task, weight of containers, and the handling time of each task, and many other information. What we need to decide is first the AGV, uh, AGV dispatching scenario and, and how to assign the tasks. Then uh, is uh, handling sequences at yard currents. Finally, is a schedule uh, scheduling of AGV, YC, and QC. Uh, all the tasks is assigned on a virtual task network. Uh, these points are initial locations of AGVs. Uh, even though AGVs may locate at different, uh, at the same location physically, but we will arrange some different uh, virtual nodes for these AGVs. Then it's a parking lot uh, represented by uh, node zero and some numbers, they, uh, they are the task nodes. Then we will uh, do the optimization process to connect these points together. Uh, the process is called AGV dispatching. Uh, then uh, because uh, the virtual node virtual node of AGVs, they stand for different AGVs, so we don't need the, uh, another index K, uh, which is uh, AGV, so we just use two index, which means we convert the three-dimension problem into two-dimension problem. It is time-saving. Um, we have two highlights. The first one is speed, op uh, speed optimization. Uh, the function of energy consumption uh, is described by this function. Uh, we can see as uh, if the uh, with a higher speed, then we will have we, we will have a higher energy consumption. Uh, the benefits of speed optimization optimization is that first decreasing cranes at a time. Um, as shown in picture picture one, if the AGV can speed up a little as and arrives at the idle time, then the crane's idle time will be decreased. As shown in the picture B, um, if the AGV can slow down a little, then the total mix span will stay unchanged, but uh, it will be energy saving. Um, another highlight is about handling sequences. Uh, we have four cases for different combination of adjacent tasks at a crane. Then we have different cases and the corresponding constraints. Then um, by introducing another uh, notation uh, lambda, then we can combine these four cases into one constraint. Then we have many 
uh, notations uh, for this model, uh, we have two, um, two goals. The first one is about total occupied time of the crane, and second one is the energy consumption of AGVs. Uh, the uh, purpose of uh, my research is to uh, minimize the total mix span and energy consumption of AGVs at the same time. And we built the uh, two index model. Uh, first, we have some constraints to assign requests to AGVs. Then uh, we have the time constraints for uh, all the tasks. Uh, we also have some constraints for handling sequences as the cranes. Uh, because the uh, handling sequences at the art crane is an unknown, so uh, we have to constrain uh, Con constrain these uh, handling sequences at YC to ensure it is elementary and every task will be handled. Then uh, let me introduce briefly uh, of the solving methodology. It's a three-phase method. First, we will, use, we will get an initial solution by uh, uh, anticipate, anticipation-based greedy algorithm. Um, then we will get an uh, initial solution. At the, in the second phase, we will improve the solution by shifting bottleneck and branch bound. Finally, we will um, give a speed optimization procedure to optimize the speed on each arc. Uh, in the second phase, we will reformulate this problem as a directed graph. And uh, we use four nodes to describe a uh, a task. Uh, for example, we have two tasks, and we also use the black lines to represent the sequence at QC, and the green lines to represent the movement of AGVs, and also the orange lines to represent the sequences at YCs. Um, during the uh, branch bound, we will convert all the dashed line into solid line. Um, in this um, Directed graph, we will have a final result, which is the total mix span. Uh, we compare the, um, uh, the performance at each node in a branch bound tree to, to choose the best one. And the detailed uh, process of the second phase is shown in this flow chart. Uh, due to the time limitation, I just show uh, the key result in and the experiment, experiments, uh, we can see uh, the total mix, uh, total idle time of the cranes is uh, largely reduced, but, and also the uh, system efficiency is enhanced. At the same time, the energy consumption is reduced. Then uh, let me uh, talk about the contribution of our research work. Uh, we introduce and formally define the problem and develop a creative uh, method to reformulate and solve. And finally, we con quantify the value of speed uh, optimization with different speed uh, regulation methods. And, and also, this study can be applied to automated warehouse. Um, integrated scheduling with speed uh, performance better with lower span, uh, mix span and energy consumption, however, uh, the congestions as the buffer area is not considered. Uh, actually, the speed uh, uh, regulation can play a very important role in uh, av avoiding the collisions and conflicts. Uh, I think that's all for my presentation. And, and this work is sponsored by C4NGP, which is one of the co-organizers -organi uh, of this activity. Uh, as, that's all. Thank you, everyone. Thanks a lot for the presentation. Any question for the speaker? Yes, please. Uh, thank you so much for your kind, uh, very interesting presentation. So uh, for your three phases, the solution techniques, uh, if I understand correctly, so you first just 
use a certain algorithm to get a feasible solution, and then you use a certain method to improve the solution. So my question is, how you guarantee uh, you can get a better solution at each iter iterations? Okay, um, actually it's a very good question. Uh, as talked just now, we use branch bound to um, get uh, many new solutions. We just branch um, ma many other uh, feasible solutions at each node as in a branch bound tree. Um, uh, associated to each node, we will have a, a total mix span, uh, which is a, a indicator to judge whether this result is better or not. Um, once we get a, a better a solution, then this branch will be kept, uh, then, which means we will have a, a better feasible solution. I think uh, I, I have already answered your question. Okay, thank you. All right, okay, so I can't see any question on, on the floor or from Pigeon Hope. Thank you so much. Thank yeah, you. Thank you.